Hello and welcome back to my videos here. Uh, I decided today I'd try and show you how to um, set up like one of my machines I have in the factory. It's, it's basically how to work the automatic crafting table Mark II, which I use all the time. Uh, a few people seem to have problems with these, so I thought I'd set up a tutorial video. Um, so we're just going to go in here, this is my new lab, filming, um, re recording studio, but hey. Um, so basically, what we need to do is, let's just get some of these tubes here first. I tend to use pneumatic tubes all the time, rather than the pipes, um, because they don't lag the server out so much. Um, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we need it up, raised up by one, or normally it's dug into the floor, but so if I just put a couple of tubes down here first, and if we put the crafting table on there to start with. Now, what we're going to do initially is the crafting table, we're going to tell it to make um, sticks to start with, because that just needs one item. Uh, just something simple. So what you do is you put the recipe in the bottom here. So two bits of wood and it'll make sticks right here. And this is the input area. This is where all the ingredients come into from your stock. Um, so you've got five rows here and I'll show you what happens for each row as we're going through the tutorial. Now what I tend to do is uh, I use re uh, retrievers. Let's get them here. And what I do is, if we put a retriever here in the back, and I just need to turn that around so it's facing the right way. So I need that retrieving from a pipe that'll be up on top. And then it comes out the bottom and goes in to the automatic crafting table. And what we do is we tell it we want to pull wood from some source somewhere. So uh, what we'll do is let me um, create a little source over here. I'm just going to put a couple of chests down. And just stick one there, and I'm just going to put another one there just now. So this chest here is going to have, well, we'll make it this one, we'll just put some, some wood supplies in there, and then what we need to do is hook this pipe up to our retriever. too far, never mind, and not too far again. Let's just get rid of this one. Okay, I'll just get rid of that one as well. And that's going to hook. So that's that chest hooked into that retriever. We need to power this retriever, but we'll do that in a minute. Now, once the crafting table is actually created the item, we need to pull it out of there, and I tend to use these filters. Uh, so if we just put a filter down one, don't want it there. Let's just put it there. Now again, we need to turn it round the correct way. The thicker base bit there needs to be facing the item that you want to the box that you want to pull items out of, which in this case is the automatic crafting table. And then it needs somewhere to put the items that it's pulling. So if we just stick a chest on top. Now I use these a lot, these covers, because um, I don't want this pneumatic tube hooked up into the filter there. So if we just hold, um, sneak and put a cover down so that's not hooked into there anymore. 
the reason I've left the, the, the chest hooked up is that um, when this produces the finalised item, I might want that chest linked into the rest of my crafting system, so that if, say, something needs sticks, it'll manage to pull out from that chest. So what we need to do now is we need to power this unit. So if we, it takes blue power, sorry, red power. Um, so if we use this blue alloy, and we need to get power over to there. So um, it has to go in the side. Let me just put a, a block down here. And we'll just run some cable over to it. Okay, so that should be that getting powered up, and it is. Now, the other thing we have to do with this is we need to give it a redstone pulse um, so that it knows when to pull an item into here. Again, it'll only pull an item if the automatic crafting table needs any more stock. So, what we do is wait. Let me just put a couple of blocks down here. If we hook up a timer and stick it on, stick it down there, I can see it's already pulling. Uh, let me just put this here. So I'm just going to do something first. Let me get rid of that. Let me just stick my lever on here so I can switch it off. I don't want it on straight away. And we need a knot gate. And that goes on that block. And then we put the timer down. There. So the timer's currently off. Because the lever's off. I usually shove this up to half a minute in my factory um, setup. Right, so the other thing we need to do is we need to tell this retriever when to pull items out of the automatic crafting table. So we need to put a, another timer up here. So if we, um, again I go back to my favourite uh, covers. Covers are really handy. <laughs> Put that there, turn the time around. It doesn't really matter what you set this to because it's just going to pull it out and put it into the chest. And we need a bit of red alloy wire just to get the timer over to the filter. So what should happen now is when I switch, switch this on, the retriever will pull some wood from this chest down through this pneumatic pipe and then to here. You can see it's been pulling in already and generating sticks. So if we click on here, the retriever should start to every half minute it'll pull a wooden plank out. I should have just set it a bit lower eh? <laughs> for this tutorial. There we go. And just see if it works there. Yep, so there's the wood coming up along the pipe, down into the retriever, and into the automatic working bench. And you can see it's sitting there. Let me just change this timer a bit. Down to every 10 seconds. So here's the wood coming along. You'll see the wood second wood goes into here. And it's created the four sticks. And then this filter has pulled it up into the chest. So you've now got sticks that you can use um, in your system. So you could pull them down this pneumatic tube to another item. 
that's a basic one ingredient recipe being created automatically. So we'll just stop that. <coughs> just like that and go in there. Right, now say for instance you need to do a recipe that takes two items to make whatever thing you're making in here. Say you're wanting to make um, some iron swords, well sorry, iron picks maybe. What we need to do is we need to set up two repeaters, uh, retrievers, sorry, here. So if we just hook another one onto the side there, let me put pipe underneath. Like that. And we'll put the retriever on. Again, we'll have to turn it around the right way. To there. And we need to hook this into there so it can pull from the chests. Now, what we want in here now, we don't want these sticks, these uh, bits of wood. Let's get rid of them. We're going to change the recipe. We want two sticks there. And we've got the, the recipe like that. And we need to tell this first retriever that we want sticks from it. And iron from this one. Now the other thing you have to do is you have to tell it which row you want the ingredient to come into into the automatic crafting table. This is this is the first mistake I used to make was that if you just have the one pipe coming in here and everything coming in the one pipe in the bottom say everything will come in and stack in the bottom row. So you might end up having too many sticks coming in and not enough space for the iron. So what you do is for each side of the automatic crafting table that you hook a pipe into, that's where that's the rule. So that's about it for now. So please rate, comment, um, and like if you can. And I'll try and get my next video up a bit quicker than this one. Okay, thank you for watching. We've got a pipe going into the bottom and a pipe into the side. Each item, if the item comes into the side here, it'll come into a different row from the items that go into the tube at the bottom. And we also have to color code it so that the retrievers know where to send each item. So, for instance, I want the sticks to go into the white pipe, and I want the iron to go into the orange pipe. So they'll go into two different sides on here. And again, you can put a pipe coming into this side, and if you lay this out a bit differently, you can have them going into this side. So each ingredient should go into its own side of the automatic crafting table. So now what we need to do is, let me just lay this out slightly differently. We need to get the redstone signal across to both of these retrievers so they, they both pull in at the same time. So if we just do that, so they're both getting powered off that timer. And we'll run the power over here. Okay, so that's, that should be both of them getting powered because the blue alloy power there goes from one into any connecting uh, me mechanisms you've got. So they'll both get, still get powered. Right, so we've told it the sticks and the iron in that one, and we've changed the recipe in here. 
Um, what we need to do is we need to hook this chest up as well. And I'll put my iron supplies in there. The wood is still in here. Uh, sorry, we need sticks in there now, don't we? Let's get some sticks out of here that we made earlier. Put them in there. Right, now, let's just tell this to go. So hopefully, we should get both items coming out of the chests. There. And they'll go through the two filters, the retrievers, sorry. You see the sticks are getting white and into the bottom, and the iron is getting orange and into there. So you can see they're coming into two different rows within the crafting table, so they won't clog each up, up each other's row. And once it has enough ingredients, it'll build a pickaxe. Just wait for another bit of iron. There we go. One pickaxe. Filter, pulled it out and into the chest. There was another trick I think works. Let me just try this. I think if you put in I don't let's just put that up there. These retrievers, you can tell how many sticks and how many bits of iron to pull at the one time. So it'll pull the whole lot at the same time, so you'll have enough ingredients each pool to create the item. Just wait for the timer to go around. There we go, two sticks, three bits of iron coming through. Into the retrievers, two sticks, three bits of iron, and you get pickaxe created straight away. And there we go, we've got our two pickaxes. I'll just switch that off. So, with this method, you can have make recipes that can have up to about five ingredients. Um, can't have the sixth one because you need the retriever on top to pull out the completed item. So I hope that was of help to you. Um, any questions, just feel free to post them in the comments section. I'll try and answer them. If you've got any suggestions for any other videos, that would be helpful as well. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.